Ooh. Wow. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Sam, and before we start I'd like to remind you all to please subscribe if you haven't already. We upload at least once a week on video production, music production, photography, home media setups and more. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, please be sure to subscribe, notifications on to stay updated on our latest videos. So this video is a continuation of the series we've been doing on real pedals versus pedal simulations. We have already done one on dimension style choruses, but this time I wanted to do it on classic kind of three knob ensemble style choruses. So I don't actually have a boss chorus ensemble, but what I do have is the Ibanez TS Mini. I also have the Moore Ensemble King clone. And then on the screen here, you can see the Mercurial Chorus WS1. They're all kind of that same ensemble style three knob design. So I thought they'd make for quite a good comparison. Guitar wise, I'm using my 2004 Epiphone Black Beauty Custom favorite guitar ever, I love this thing to bits. Amps wise, I'm using the Ignite Amps Emissary set to a bright clean tone. Cab wise, I'm using Mix IR3 for my loader and I'm using one of the Dr. Bonkers Pisa them 1x12 cabs. And I'll show the actual model on screen now. I'm also using the Tau Reverb 4 and I'm kind of treating it like a virtual guitar pedal. So I've got it in the chain after the amp sim but before the IR loader. Now I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this for proper mixing but for the actual purposes of just demonstrating this I thought I'd set it up as if it's a real like proper guitar rig just in a virtual environment. I'm also going to be doing no EQing or compressing to the guitars. The only thing I'll be doing is maybe adjusting levels at the end but I want to kind of give you the almost raw tone that's purely coming from the guitar, the pedals, the amp sim and the IR loader. CS Mini to me sounds the best. It's got that really nice, sparkly, rich tone. The Moore Ensemble King was probably the most disappointing. So these are all in slightly different positions because I wanted to try and match the actual tone. So the depth on the Ensemble King is all the way up. The depth on the CS Mini is about three o'clock. And the depth on the Mercurial is actually quite low. And that's because if you turn it all the way up, it just sounds kind of ridiculous. It's one of those ones where to get the kind of sweet spot is right at the start. So I gotta say the CS Mini definitely sounded the best, but followed closely by the Mercurial. I found the Ensemble King, at least in that bit, quite disappointing. It doesn't sound bad, it just kind of sounds a bit empty, and that's kind of turned fairly high up. <laughs>
was quite close. I'm noticing more when you kind of let the notes ring out in more like chords, that's when you really hear the difference of chorus. In that one, they're pretty level pegging. Again, the Ensemble King was probably the weakest. I found the, the richness of the material, at least the way it's set up, definitely sounded quite nice. I quite dug that. I think with that one, the CS Mini and the Mercurial, pretty, pretty tied there. <laughs> Again, the Ensemble King, it doesn't sound bad, it just kind of sounds a bit weak. Um, I'm noticing here, it's actually outputting the hottest signal out of all of them. But the, I love the sparkle of the CS Mini, although I've got to say the Mercurial is actually really holding its own. It doesn't quite have the kind of richness that the CS Mini does. But it's it's getting pretty close. It's one of those things where you probably will notice it more if you're kind of playing rather than if you're listening back. Uh, but yeah, so far disappointed with the Ensemble King compared to the other two. That time, actually I did really enjoy the Ensemble King, it was more subtle and actually for the kind of fingerpick style, I kind of like that. 
Again, actually, probably the one that disappointed me most was actually probably the the CS Mini there. I don't know why. I, I just it's one of those things where I couldn't really describe exactly what it was. It's just I didn't sound bad. It's just out of the three of them, actually, I thought that was the weakest one. Again, the Mercurial kind of just holding its own in a lot of situations, and I'm quite surprised. <laughs> quite enjoyed all three there actually they all had their own kind of feel i think that's what's what's quite interesting is that if you're doing any kind of lead or kind of pick work i think the chorus pedal really doesn't make a huge amount of difference it kind of just kind of gives it a bit of a rich tone i don't think any of these three pedals are bad i think the ensemble king is still a good chorus it's just a lot weaker when it's put next to something like the cs mini or even this mercurial ws1 i'm really really impressed with this thing actually i can't at least hearing it now i can't tell a crazy amount of difference, but I think I'm going to go back and listen to all three of them and kind of make my final thoughts based on that. Okay, so I've had a listen back to everything I recorded just now, and I've got to say, what I said at the time still stands now. I think the CS Mini is definitely the best sounding pedal, it just has that really rich sparkly tone that I really want out of the chorus. The Ensemble King, it sounds good on its own, I think it is a good pedal, but it just doesn't quite match up to the CS Mini. The big surprise is definitely the Mercurial WS1, that thing sounds really good. It doesn't quite have that warmth and that kind of just overall feel that the CS Mini does, but it comes pretty damn close. There's a lot more tweakery options, although I've got to say, getting it into that kind of sweet spot, you really have to kind of go on the lower end, but you could do some pretty wacky sounding stuff if you really wanted. But I've got to say, especially given that it's free, that is just phenomenal. And actually, if I had to choose between the Moor pedal or the Mercurial, I'd absolutely choose the Mercurial to record with. However, if I really want to get the best sounding chorus, at least with what I have available to me, I think the CS Mini still trumps it, at least to my ears. It just, on most things, especially when you're playing chords and anything that kind of rings out a little bit, it really just gets that nice, warm, 
rich, sparkly sound that you really want from a chorus pedal. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick comparison between these real pedals and a pedal simulation. If there's any other free chorus style pedal sims that you reckon we should try out, please let us know. And also paid ones as well, we're not opposed to spending money on things, it's just I do appreciate really good free plugins. If you're interested in pedal comparisons, please be sure to subscribe especially. We do have a few more in the pipeline which should be uploaded in the next few weeks. And as well as I said at the start, if you're also interested in video production, other music production, photography, home media setups, again, please be sure to subscribe, notifications on. Hopefully you won't be disappointed, I hope you'll enjoy it, and I hope to see you guys back here again. And yeah, I'll leave you with that one. Thanks everyone, catch you next one, goodbye.